Hi everyone, I'm Karen Mee Flitter, CCTV's Programming and Promotion Coordinator, and I'm here with the November edition of CCTV Update. We have some great segments this month on upcoming volunteer opportunities and holiday events. CCTV's nonprofit holiday greetings are quickly approaching. If you are a Salem-based nonprofit organization and you would like to record a holiday PSA in our studios, give us a call at 503-588-2288. The holiday greetings will be recorded Wednesday, November 12th through Wednesday the 19th. Another holiday event coming up is CCTV's annual Holiday Producer Party, which will fall on Thursday, December 4th this year. Keep an eye out for your invitation. Also, remember that you can jump ahead to a section that interests you by clicking on the menu bar at the bottom of your screen. Keep watching for more information here on CCTV Update. First, let's check in with Kelly to learn about CCTV's November Volunteer Opportunities, which includes a six-day holiday event here in our studios. Stay tuned to learn more. November is a busy month for all of us at CCTV. We can use volunteer help for everything from sporting events to our nonprofit holiday greetings. Take a peek into our local government and join us as we go live for Salem City Council meetings on Monday, November 10th or 17th. Or check out a Salem-Kaiser School Board meeting on Tuesday, November 18th. As the fall sports season wraps up, we're looking to cover some OSAA soccer playoff games. Provided our Salem teams keep winning, come out to help with high school soccer on Saturday, November 1st and Wednesday, November 5th. Even if you haven't volunteered in a while, we would love to see you again and let you know about all of the exciting productions we're involved in this month. To volunteer, contact me at 503-588-2288 or send an email to kelly at cctvsalem.org. CCTV community facilitator Arlen Robinson sat down this month with community producer Lucy Carballo to talk about her weekly talk show series, which has over 60 episodes total. Hello, my name is Arlen Robinson. I am the community facilitator at Capital Community Television, and this is the November episode of Producer Spotlight. Um, November is a month that I really start thinking about what I'm thankful about, and I am, I'm very lucky to have a job where I'm able to work with the community the way I do, helping them make, you know, in some cases, dreams they have uh, come true. You know, that, that show, that idea they have, it's fun watching them come in with that. And then the ones that go all the way through the classes and the training and actually produce shows, it's pretty special. So um, with that in mind, the producer I have this month for our producer spotlight is Lucy Carbello, and uh, she's our guest today. And the first question I have for you, Lucy, is um, tell us a little bit about your show. Tell us about Sin Limites. Well, um, it's a talk show. It's only um, a half an hour. And uh, I interview people um, from our community. Um, depends whatever people do. Um, I have interviewed people from radio, um, from um, different um, organizations that help um, Hispanic people. So um, it's, you know, just if the person has something to say, I am happy to interview them and, you know, just pass the voice for the, our community. How did you get involved with Capital Community Television? How, you know, how did you first find out about us and get involved? Well, um, I don't want to say many years ago, but yeah, a few years ago, uh, 2010, I asked um, Jesus Gonzalez um, for an opportunity and uh, he said yes. So I came here and I, um, he introduced me to you guys and it was a pleasure for me. And I, um, I wanted to say thank you to him and to you guys because it, it was a, a wonderful opportunity for me. So I, I, st I started learning since 2010 and um, it was amazing. I am so happy um, you know, to ask for that opportunity and today I'm doing my own show. So, how long have you been making shows now? Um, by myself, mm -hmm. Sin Limites, uh, um, it has been a year. Yeah, um, actually, this month, um, 
a year ago. So I was doing my, my first show in here. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it, it has been a wonderful um, experience. And uh, at first, um, I was kind of nervous because I wasn't sure about, you know, all the techniques and I, the experience that I didn't, you know, have at that time. But thanks to you guys, um, everybody here in CCTV, you guys have been a very helpful. helpful. Yeah. And um, I, I wanted to appreciate that. I know what I want to know and people out there in TV land might want to know is, is what's next for, for you? I have some other plans too. Um, since I've been learning a lot in here and I have some experience, I feel comfortable to say I wanted to work for um, a TV station like, you know, Univision maybe. And um, I think I'm ready. All right. Um, I was kind of closed with this question um, for the people out there in television land. Is there anything you can tell the folks out there that might be thinking about making a show of their own? Is there any words of advice you can give them if they, if they really want to find out about making a television show here at CCTV? Uh, for um, all those people that um, they wanted to do something different, like I did, like a show in here, um, just do it. it. It's really easy. I mean, um, at first, it's kind of scary, and if you look at it that way, like, oh, how do I want, um, I'm going to do this, or um, if I'm going to have enough help, or if I'm going to have enough people to interview, um, just, just do it. it. It's, you know, it's something that uh, if you don't look for it, um, it's never going to come to you. And the people in here, CCTV, they are wonderful, and they have been an awesome help to me and um, I'm I always um, going to um, thank you guys awesome. because it has been a wonderful experience and I think everybody can do it I mean our community is um, very um, diverse yeah. and um, this is a great opportunity to do something different bueno para las personas que, que quieren involucrarse que quieren hacer algo diferente, este es el lugar perfecto para, para crecer, para aprender, para hacer cosas diferentes. La gente de aquí es súper amable. Yo estoy completamente agradecida con todo el personal de aquí de CCTV, unas personas maravillosas que yo se los recomiendo a todos ustedes en casa. Involúcrate, haz algo diferente y si quieres hacerlo, este es el mejor lugar, CCTV de Salem, Oregon. I, I, I want to thank you again, Lucy, for coming in and doing the show. Um, a few things I always do at the end is to let you guys know that our, uh, our, our free HD studio shows are always the second Tuesday of the month. They're just not happening in November. In November, um, we have a really big push for holiday greetings, so it's going to be a real busy time. Um, I'm sorry for that. Uh, if for some reason you really need that studio class, I will find a way to get it to you. So if you call me at 503-588-2288, ask for Arlen. Um, I, can, I will find a way to get a class in for you in November. Otherwise, December, the second Tuesday, we're back full throttle again. I'll have classes at 3.30 and 6.30 p.m. All right, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you later. And here's Kelly again to give us an update on CCTV's rotating art display, as well as a unique event that we'll be participating in during the month of December. This month, CCTV has a new set of art on display. Come check out the new pieces in our building and learn more about the artists that made them. In December, we'll also participate in a great event throughout downtown Salem called Something Red. This month-long art exhibit is coordinated by Artists in Action, a local nonprofit organization that supplies CCTV with rotating art displays. During December, CCTV will exhibit a few more pieces of art in our facility as a part of the Something Red show and we'll also host an opening reception on Wednesday, December 3rd from 5 to 7 p.m. Come join us for the opening night of Something Red and support local artists during Salem's biggest first Wednesday art walk of the year. And now let's hear from Wendy Brokaw as she talks about the fun she had this month at Gilbert House Children's Museum. Gilbert House Children's Museum is a videographer's dream. So many children, so much fun. 
but you'd better move fast. They scoot while you shoot. This little wiggle worm had other ideas for what to do while Grandma talked to me. When I caught up with him at last in the Up, Up, and Away exhibit, he treated my camera and tripod as part of it. Why not indeed? Looks like fun. CCTV's Insight for November will spotlight the 25-year-old museum, which changed its name back from A.C. Gilbert Discovery Village to the original Gilbert House Children's Museum. Lots of new things, including a new entryway under construction by Bill Charnholm, a founding donor and longtime supporter of Gilbert House. His enthusiasm is inspiring, but the job was, well, tiring. Back to my day job. And now let's check in with Charlie from Charlie's Corner, who has some tips on how to record a voiceover for your program. Now I think this will work if I just... Oh, hey! Welcome to another edition of Charlie's Corner. Glad you could join me. Um, today I wanted to talk about a little gizmo here uh, that you might like to use in your production. And what it does is allow you to actually add narration to your project. So for, for a lot of programs that can be really important. And there's, there are times when uh, after you've edited your program, after the fact you realize that you wish you had uh, a little narration to explain a few things. Um, oftentimes you see that in documentaries and so forth. So what this little box does, and it's called the Fast Track, and what it does is really allow you to interface a microphone, any microphone really, uh, to your computer. So it actually changes the analog uh, audio to digital and you can record it right there into Final Cut uh, with a little tool that's in included in Final Cut. Really neat deal. If, if you want to find out more about it, come on in, talk to me about it and we'll get you going on it. It's really easy to use. Um, but here's the thing. I got to use this. I think it works great. But I felt like I could just get a little more punch out of it. So what I've done is I actually hooked it up to this um, uh, uh, capacitor uh, that has a number of different coils. It's complicated, but, but I got it powered up. It, it, it's in, in the wall, but it increases the power substantially. Uh, I'm going to put it right into the unit itself and see if I can't just get that extra punch I, I want to get out of it. So all I have to do is hook it up and um, basically just, just uh, plug it in. Wait a second. Hey, Charles, are you sure this is safe? Yeah, it's safe. Just, just plug it in. Uh, okay. And that wraps up the November edition of CCTV Update. Don't forget to join our email list to stay in the loop by visiting our website, cctvsalem.org. Happy November, everybody.